Hey guys, Big Diesel here. Um, finally, uh, I've been home for a little bit now. Finally able to play Farming Simulator 19. I'm having to redo this video again um, because uh, some odd reason my game just exited out. So we'll go again and see how it goes. Um, I want to check something real quick. Uh, okay. Anyways. Um, so we're going to get into this, um, go to Ravenport, um, hey, it did save that though, okay, um, start, um, so hopefully it won't, uh, do all that again, I don't know why it done that, I have no clue unless it's a bug or something, um, if it does it again, um, I won't do videos tonight, I will do it tomorrow, um, and we'll see how things go from there, and I might do a live stream on my birthday. You have enough money to start the farming business of your dreams. What will your specialty be? Arable farming, breeding livestock, forestry, or a bit of everything? The choice is yours. First, buy some land, buildings, and the necessary tools. Then sell your products and expand your farm. Alright, so, what we're going to do is, uh... We start off with 1.1,250,000. 1, um, we're going to... Oh, we need to buy some land. Um, so here's the map. Uh, we're going to come down here and buy... Uh, this bit of land down here. Oh, there we go. Buy that. And then buy that. Okay. Um, then we're going to go get our farmhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks like the front, so... Yeah, that might be a little bit crooked, but... Um, and then we're going to do a shed. Um, trying to see which way. We'll do this one. This is the one I see everybody using at first. So, um, we're going to use that. Okay. Get our shed. Um, and now, uh, let's go in the pause menu. Um, save game. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save this real quick. <laughs> um, I'm going to change auto save every five minutes. Um, that off. For right now, we're going to leave that on. I'm going to turn plant weathering off. I always do that. Um, so... Uh, ah, here we go. Start off with a $250,000 loan. Let's see how much we can get. Because uh, for what I want, uh, that'll be decent, I guess. Um, we'll just have to get one tractor, though, and... Uh, one harvester. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to harvesters. We're going to get this harvester. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Um, ah, Mitchell. There we go. Wide tires. Crawler tracks. Um, we'll buy that one, yes, um, and then we're going to get a medium tractor, we're going to get this one, uh, 280, it's an extra 10 grand, okay, um, we're going to go ahead and get that one, even though we're not getting the front end loader attachment yet. Uh, yeah, 
I always like using doing the uh, rear twin wheels. So we're going to buy that. Okay. And now we're going to come over to tools and we're going to do. Where is. Harvesting heads. Um, oh, headers. Headers. There we are. Okay. Um, get that. It's 49. Yep. Okay. Now we got to get a trailer, um, which I'll probably get. Uh, 35 that'll leave me with about 40 grand um, to play with uh yeah sure why not um we'll do Michelin um I'm a Michelin fan you will easily figure that out um, so, uh, let's look at the plows, um, two meter, yeah, see, the none of those right there we're not going to worry about yet, um, 13, uh, okay, I'm going to have to use my calculator on my phone, <laughs> when it comes to something like this, I'll try to be precise um let's see cultivator is three uh we'll probably end up getting that one plus seven just the just the plow and the cultivator is 20 grand that leaves us with 19 um we need a decent planter Oh yeah, we won't have enough for a cedar with that. Um, looks like we may have to add money in to the game. So I may transfer my money over, or a portion of it. Uh, I probably bought too big of harvester and tractor. Because... Yeah, 285, and I could have gotten like that one. But, like I said, I just wanted I wanted to do John Deere this time, so um, we could still. Oh, there's the train. Let me go into settings because uh, there's the volume, master volume, turn down, turn it down. Okay. okay, so here's our John Deere. Harvester. Ah. Cool. Alright, so... It's still a little loud, ain't it? Okay, there goes the auto save. We're gonna turn it down a little bit more. Turn the beacons on. Oops. Alright, this game looks so amazing right now, I mean really it does. I do like the fact they added in like you can watch stuff move and everything. Um, and just the bounciness, that's something else I'm going to have to get used to. Just lower that a little bit. I wonder how I can tell. Because there, there's numbers right there. You, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's like numbers right there, and it's kind of hard to tell where it's at level-wise. Huh. All right. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. We're gonna put on our four legs.
Alrighty, we're gonna go this way. Um, try not to take anything out or down, speed limit signs or anything like that. So, but it looks amazing. Everything detail-wise, you know, the beacons, the, the signals, the four-ways. Everything just looks so much better. Oh, I took a sign out. Oopsies. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. But anyways, what I was saying in the first video before the game submod reason crashed. Uh, I mean, literally, it just exit out. It kind of froze and then exit. So, I was like, the heck? Um. I, I have been thinking about uh, transferring money over from my FS17 Goldcrest Valley map over um, because I have been working on it lately and uh, I've basically kind of been just uh, you know selling stuff off like uh, selling equipment off and everything like that so um, and also selling my animals off and crop um, I never got the finish so I was going to round an estimate up to about, and I had about like 18, 18 million, but uh, I was going to round it up to about 25 million. Uh, so, ooh, cotton. I wonder how much it would cost us to uh, rent out the... Uh, Rent out the co uh, cotton harvester and give that a go. Uh, let's turn on harvester. I want to try driving the harvester myself some, just to kind of see what it's like. So, and this is canola. We could probably patch, uh, get a pretty good uh, bit of money from this. And probably what we'll have to do is we'll have to probably rent, um, rent some stuff out or do some contract missions. Um, there we go. And, uh, do some contract missions or something to kind of help us get some, uh, more money and everything. So, uh, and I think, uh, do I have crop destruction on? <laughs> oh, uh, go back. Dollar, miles, acres. There we go. Uh, always for that. Um, okay, let me see here. Weeds. Crop destruction is on. So, yes, I do have crop destruction. So, um,. Uh, I do have to kind of watch out for that, because I don't want to lose any crops. Look at that, it's nice. Oh, it does show how much you're filling up. Oh, that's amazing. I was really wanting that before, and I'm finally glad they have that now. Because they've always had like the screen inside the harvesters, but nothing ever showed. So, and then the air ride seats, I love it. Looks like sunflowers over there. We'd have to have another header for that, which we could probably rent it. So, not too bad. All right, I'm gonna let a, har uh, let a worker finish it off. We're gonna get in our John Deere 6250R. Wow, it actually shows the time on there and on the screen and everything. Oh, look at the pedal and the stuff like that. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, how much is the front loader on her? Oh, we'll go ahead and get that. Just since we already have the little bit uh, available, or have the arm thing available on the tractor, might as well go ahead and get it. Um, 
go. Cool. Oh, the little joystick works. The that's cool. All right, now we're gonna back up here. Um, I do plan on uh getting the controller or not the controller, but the uh, steering wheel and pedals for farm sim. Um, because right now I only have a uh, I never fuck I never change a check to see what I had on tire wise on the tractor. I know on the harvester I got missions. I don't think I did on the tractor. Oh well. But um so uh I'm trying to think here. What was I saying? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh to this way. Um but uh I mean I got my nine twenty and I got the side panel. But I would really like to have the steering wheel for the side uh, for the side panel as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because of the fact that, you know, it's got the analog stick, so that way you can walk around even whenever you're not in the vehicle and stuff like that. So, that's the main reason why I still stick with my controller. Um, so. But I like it. This game, I've been waiting for this game for a while. I never thought I was going to actually get to pre-order it and buy it. But, thank goodness I managed to get a job, you know, right at last second. Or, not last second, but last minute. And so, um, I'm very pleased with that. So, dude, that looks so amazing. But yeah. Oh, need to turn off. So, um, so right now we're going to park right here, stop right here. Um, where is, ah, Cotton Technology. We're going to see, oh, we're a little bit shy on leasing that. So, uh, with that being said, we're going to have to plow over it, um, which, um, I'm going to rent out, or lease the plow, um, and we're going to lease the cultivator. Um, actually, I might go ahead and buy the cultivator. Um, and we're going to go to planters. Uh, try to find one. Let's see, I don't need that one. Where is, ah, cedars, here we go. All right, um, there's three meters, three meters. This one here is three meters. That one's 3.6 and they take, uh, I'm gonna lease that as well. And they take uh, fertilizer at the same time. So, um, also too, I need to go to headers. Um, let's see how much lease. Um, we'll end up leasing that as well, just to get the uh, field done. Um, so. Uh, and the weeder. We'll, uh, lease this weeder, I guess, later on. So, um. Oh, we got some. We'll, we'll see how much, uh, it puts us up. Uh, what's... And I did, yes, I did borrow up all the money I can get. Um. So I may I may add some money in to you know compensate for uh the the loan to pay out the loan and then to probably add about a half a mil in not to buy you know big equipment or anything but you know finish up a farm you know to buy the cedars and cultivators plow weeders all that kind of good stuff um, 
let's see fruit types so 19 is potato cottons and 24 so basically the only two we could actually harvest is 25 and 26 so we'll have to plow field 19 and 24 so um, and also too I might buy another uh, uh, another John Deere tractor like that one so um, just so that way we can have two tractors one one will have the uh, let's see I want to look something because I know one will have the um, front end loader attachment and the other one won't we'll set up okay so you can't select okay you can't select the brand tires for that so okay um, and also too we may uh, I may actually upgrade the shed don't know considering you know um, oh oh no okay there we go hey. hello okay How do you hold the harvester? Okay, we gotta come in here and look at the controls. Uh, game pad. Uh. That's walking. See all this, I don't think. Uh, should have played this some before. But. I did it. Um, okay, that's weird. Okay, I don't know how to fold that up. Okay, that's weird. Oh, what the hit? I'm gonna lower that. Okay. Alright, now with that being done, we're going to, uh... We're gonna look and see. Um, canola. Central grain elevator. So, where's the central grain elevator? Ah, there it is. So, if we come out of our farm on the road, we take that first right okay okay 
But yeah, I like this air ride seat. It's pretty nice. Oh, my bad. Wrong thing. Oh, there we go. I wonder if it shows. How much do we got in the trailer? 34.18. Trying to see if it shows. No. It doesn't show uh, the amount of it's in the trailer and stuff. It'd be nice if it did. But it isn't, so. Um, but I might not wait on the sunflowers. Um, I may just go ahead and plow all the fields. Um, and then, uh, go from there, I guess. And, uh, oh. My beer comes need to stay in. Wait, Wait, where do we go from here? Okay, good. I'm going the right way. Maybe I should pop up the mini map. <laughs> <coughs> but, uh, yeah, probably after this video, I would probably go and add some money in. Um, like I said, it's not to, you know, try to go get a bigger, badder, more equipment and stuff like that. But kind of, you know, help pay off the loan and uh, also help to get at least another track another track like this one or maybe the little one that's a little bit smaller um and then be able to purchase like uh the silo uh get um get the plow uh get the cultivator get the cedar purchase all of that um and purchase a weeder um and you know maybe get uh the small pickup and then also that, um, I will show you that actually. Um, so here's the, the little Mahindra Retriever. So, uh, which actually I could buy it right now. So, um, we're going to get it and then we'll probably, since there's only a $15,000 difference, we'll probably get this truck as well. Just so that way we can have a decent truck around. Um, and then I might get, uh, try to have enough to ha get the forklift. I'll calculate all this up before I go out, so that way I know exactly how much I need to put in. Um, but like I said, I'm basically bringing it from, uh, um, bringing it from Farm Sim 17, because I did have money on there, so, um, it's not just coming in just because, um, I, like I said in the, my last Farm Sim 17 video, I was planning on it, so, um, we'll, uh, just expect that, I mean, I don't know if y'all be, you know, wanting me to add all that money or not, um, so, um, but like I said, like I said, I'm just gonna add portions in when I need it, or whatnot, I'm gonna try to do everything myself manually and everything like that, so, um, go do contracts, stuff like that, so, um, yeah, so let's go get this sold, because I think right there is where we're going, actually, yep, it is, so, I'd like to end up getting field 8, I'd like to get field 8, 14, 15, 16, 17, and, uh, 14 through 17, I'd like to combine them into, like, one big field, so, that's the only thing about having the dual tires on the back, <laughs> is some places you probably can't fit. <laughs> so, uh, alright, we're going to unload the canola. $4,100, just from that little bit of canola. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. So, um, yep. Now we're going to go back to the farm, uh, drop the trailer off, and like I said, I will upgrade, uh, I want to, I plan on upgrading the, uh, shed and everything, a storage shed for equipment, um, 
And I might also, too, uh, add in enough to, you know, to get the barn, get the dog. Just those few little things, you know, kind of finish off. I'm not going to get no animal pins yet. Um, if I do, it would be chickens, um, which I will show you guys. Um, see, the silo-wise, this is what I was going to, this is why I'm going to get a large green silo. Um, see, none of this, we're not, we're not going to worry about none of that anytime soon. Um, animal pins. There's the dog house. Dog house is $2,500. It's not bad. Um, we could get, uh, the large chicken coop for 40 So I might do that. Um, see, there's all the pigs, sheep, horse, cow. Oh, sorry about saying, sorry about sounding like that. But I was just I was a little cold. Had a little cold chill. But I do like the fact, though, they do have their limitations. If you can see right here. The large cow pasture is 200. Limitation of the small is 50. 400 chicken. Uh, four, uh, 100 chicken in the small one. So, because on uh, 17, I had like 700 something pigs and 500 something cows and stuff like that. Let's say we need to get a, also get a pressure washer in the vehicle workshop just to have there to keep maintenance up on the uh, equipment and everything. Um, and there's a lot of decorations too. So there's a farm barn I'll probably get. Um, ooh, farm old barn. I'd get that one actually. Farm storage. I don't know. On my extra profile, I'm probably pl I'm planning on doing. I'll probably try to. I'll probably add those and, you know, just kind of see what they are. If they're really any use for them. But definitely got to have the big red barn on the farm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, we ain't going to go too much longer in this first video. Um, you know, since it is just kind of the setup, starting up and everything. Um, and I really can't, you know, do all these fast things or skip stuff in my videos. So, um just got to kind of bear with me on that kind of stuff. Um, and so, but I do like, our, I do like what we were, we managed to purchase with our starting money and then also getting the extra amount of the loan. Um, I really am pleased with the, uh, what we got. Um, we can use that harvester a whole lot. Um, we'll be using this tractor a lot as well. Um, they're two very great machines. Um, not too big and not too small. They're just perfect for the job. Um, and they also our trailer is. Um, so, I, I think we've done pretty good with, uh, our purchases. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this trailer down here. Um, I'm also gonna get another shed. I'm gonna, I'll probably get a sh the same shed that I had down here and put right there in that little flat spot. Um, but, uh, we're going to bring this down here. Um, we'll park this up in here. Okay. And now we're going to, uh, I want to place this front and loader arm right here. There we go. That way uh, we don't have it on the front and have to worry about hitting anything. Now what we're going to do <coughs> is um, we're going to go back to the shop and we're going to get the things we have leased for now. Um, and also I think we bought the cultivator. Um, I think the plow we leased. So um, we'll come and get, we'll go and get those and uh, go from there. Uh, is that one still? A, yes. Thank you. But I really do. I'm in love with this game already. I mean, I'm in love with it ever since you know I've seen you know what's coming in it and everything like that. So very very happy it's finally out. Um, and it actually come out early. Uh, it did come out like 6 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S. Unfortunately, I was at work, and I didn't get off till almost 
well, uh, around 10.30 I think it was when I got off work so p.m. so it was like four hours after the game came out so of course I had to come home and inst let it install and everything like that and it's just a, it's just a pain you know especially how I was of just you know sitting there looking at the clock waiting for the clock to say you know uh Oh, it's that kind of plow. I don't like that plow. I don't. I, I really don't. Can we see the other plows? Is this one more? Ah, okay. Okay, so we may... I'm going to go ahead and buy this one. And then this plow, let me just go backwards with it. I hate this plow. I hated it in 17, and I hate it now. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a nice plow for the price, and it's decent size, but I just don't like the way, it, I don't like having that turnable wheel. So... Uh, we're just gonna return so that way that's done also too you can uh, service your tractor here at the shop or if you buy your the vehicle workshop at the farm um, you could do that there as well I'm gonna hook the cultivator up to the front of the tractor and then we're going to, oh, there we go. Um, I do need to get a front weight, though. Uh, I will eventually need to get a front weight, or want to get a front weight. Um, can I fold that? Yes, fold plan. Okay, it didn't fold it up that far, but okay. So, um... I know we'll come back and uh, we'll have to purchase some seed for the cedar and fertilizer. Um, I don't know how much each will hold. So that'll be another reason why we'd need to get the forklift, you know, in case I overbuy on the fertilizer and seed. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, so, so far I'm very happy. Um, I mean, I know I'm not happy with the amount of money I got right now, but, <laughs> but like I said, um, at the end of this video, cause I'll probably end it here in a few minutes once we get this back and get, uh, I at least want to get the tractor to start plowing on field 19 and then move on. Um, <coughs> so, uh, that way we can get a head start on, uh, planting all the crops and everything. Um. So, we are going to place the cultivator out here. Um, and also, too, we may, I may get a, a third tractor. Um, just kind of thinking about it. I might get that one smaller John Deere. And use it with some of this equipment as well. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to unfold the plow. Um, we are going to turn the plow. And we're going to bring it up here to field 19, and we're going to have a worker start working. Um, we'll uh, get to, because we don't have nothing to, uh, see there's crop destruction. Um, but we don't have nothing to harvest this with, so it's just best to go ahead and, you know, go ahead and have a worker plow it so he's doing that so um, we're gonna come down here and uh, we're gonna come to back behind the farmhouse and we're just gonna watch him plow so that'll do it for this video guys um, this is only episode one of many episodes of uh, this farm sim 19 let's play 
like I said before um, in my Farm Sims, last Farm Sims 17 video, I plan on doing this one a whole lot different. Um, I will not be doing the same way as I did in 17. Um, like jump, you know, not doing a Farm Sim video for a long period of time. And then, you know, when I decide to do another video, I'm in a different map and whatnot. I'm not doing that at all um, in this one. Uh, this one is going to be on one map for long period of times, um, and I'll try to remind myself of what um, to put for the title and everything. Um, so uh, that's some stuff I'm going to have to do. Um, what's that noise? So, um, so yeah, um, just like I said, keep an eye out. I will be doing more videos tonight, hopefully. I don't know how many videos I will get in tonight before I absolutely cannot stay up. So, um, and like I said, I will be doing the live stream tomorrow. Uh, I will try to up start uploading this video tonight while I'm out of the game. Um, and then come back in and everything and then do uh, several videos in a row. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm very happy and excited that FS19 is here. And I hope you are. And until next time, see you later.